Hey guys, welcome to Season 7, Episode 17 of Criminal Minds. Here we go. Everyone says that love happens when you least expect it. Okay. I guess it's true because when I met you, love was the last thing on my mind. I still feel the touch of your skin. You help me get through every night. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> you give my life purpose. She's your baby girl. And what I'm about to embark on involves a keen insight of somebody who knows her inside and out. And no matter how much therapy I've gone through trying to understand your relationship, I know you're that person. Oh my. Please, I'm not asking for your blessing. I'm asking for your advice. Okay, uh, should I do it over a couple tacos and a nice can of Red Bull? Oh my god. All right, well, uh, should I take it to New York and do it at the Statue of Liberty? At the round table right before you guys present a case. Oh my god. Okay. And I and I pop up on an HD okay, Jeff, Seriously, I got a meeting I gotta get to. Eric, please. Come on, bro, this is important. I didn't say that. Oh, so yeah, I'd like to get started. Oh, yes, sorry. Um, <laughs> two couples were found oh, shot God. In, in, to death in the Delridge neighborhood of Seattle, Washington. The first was Mark Daniel and Ben Priestley. They were found dead in their living room. The second was John and Heather Miller. Double homicides must be yeah. rare better. What makes it weirder is that there was no sign of robbery or sexual assault. Yeah, the shooter used a 22. Shot them execution style. He's experienced to use a pillow as a silencer. So no sign of forced entry. None of the authorities have found that. So it's a home invasion. Or our own is using some kind of ruse. Either way, I'm calculating the dispatch. The stuff at the I'm beginning sure is... Throw pillows. Throws me off even more. The target nature of these crimes suggests that there could be more. Where's something dirty? When people look back and talk about us, see, and it's still going. What I did was right. Am I any less cute when I have a migraine? Brian? It's a woman. Who are you? What do you want? Please don't hurt us. There's money and jewelry oh. upstairs. And when they ask me why I did it, what the hell? I'll tell them the truth. I know who she is. It's because I love you. <laughs> what? Kneeling on the ground, placing the pillow behind the head seems ritualistic. We're simply taking precautions. Now, some of the Vicks were shot in the leg. They probably were trying to defend themselves, and this was the only way our unsub could get them to yeah, the Yeah, well, that means well, that the unsub can't do it. Well, except what's left on the floor and the pillows. I see, how are each of the couple's financials? Without the gun. Oh, should I this guy? Any time between their murders is accelerating. Well, Professor and Judge, I go talk to Abby. They haven't all about yesterday's crime scene. Why do you need to go to the new one? Why, though? <laughs> they got it right there. Still had their keys on it. So they were they caught just, caught. Yeah, they just got on it. Well, the house is child-proofed. You know, must have been a relative or neighbor's kids. They didn't have any children. Miss? She's just looking for her foster kids. Yeah, let's get your jacket out. <laughs> I know. Can I touch it? I'd rather you didn't. Can I touch it? You're so lucky. Child is the greatest gift of love anyone can ask. Oh, that's creepy. They'd have these get-togethers and there'd be, you know, a hundred people in the living room. And where do they meet all these people? Community groups, clubs, a church. 
church. Holy worship. It went twice a week, and the wife taught Sunday school. That's because he said last night's victims were as well. Oh, oh, what about the first God. victims? And he turned on them. I'll send Reed and Rossi to the church, see what they can find. It's very odd. Uh, this is unholy. <laughs> no. No, Mom, I didn't think Another? So much Already? Listen, I gotta go. Uh, what can I do for you? The Millers and the Gilberts both participated in our foster program. It's a foster local program. Tour we have at the community center. Maybe it's the same one where first victims volunteered. Well, I'm a social services and I was in the neighborhood, so I figured I'd come by. This is really funny, I considering the, what time other shows she's on. I that homes were child-proof. They sometimes had kids in their custody. If they were foster parents, it would have come up when Garcia checked their backgrounds. Um, if this is a problem, I'll just set up a time to see you later. Great. Most likely had a connection to the foster system. Or she simply yes. wants a kid. Then why not just snatch one off the street? Yeah, this is maternal desire. These couples took in babies. Maybe she lost her own or can't conceive. Ooh. So she probably killed those people because when she got to their home, they didn't have a child in their possession. That's so smart. keep going until she finds one. Where was he placed? It should be in the file. But I don't have that information here. I'm sure my social worker must have it. What are you doing? Well, this is a gun, and inside of it are what we call bullets. <laughs> what do you want? I want to know where Johnny is. Well, I just told you. <sighs> probably the Whoa! Then hurry up. Where is it? I don't see it. Where is it? It's on the last page. Do you want me to call her for you? <laughs> Stop that. I can't even say. Stop. That will be done on Earth as it is now. <laughs> they are daily bread. <laughs> Female serial killers are agenda driven, not sexually compulsive. Well, what's the agenda here? She left the woman on her heels in her slip. It could be humiliation. Why didn't she do this to any of the others? There's connection. Yeah, she's definitely escalating. So her maternal desire is causing her to unravel. What started all this? She's killing this frequently because she's desperate. She may have told somebody that she's pregnant, and now she's got to produce a kid. Oh, come on. Is Garcia? Yep. Why aren't you answering it? <laughs> Therefore, this is the 67th message that I have left you, and if you do not call me back, I will have no choice but to show everyone that nude photo of you from art class, not the good one, either. I don't remember. That's funny, because you guys never talk. Well, no, that, that is untrue. That's totally true. Morgan is my friend. You are my friend. You and Morgan are not friends. <laughs> it's complicated. Mm -hmm. We're talking about basketball. Morgan hates watching basketball. He's a hockey fan. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, I know. In fact, he was just telling me about how uh, one of the first professional hockey leagues was started by black players in Nova Scotia in 1895. I know. Who knew? Do you want to get some dinner? No. Uh, we're about to deliver the profile and stay here. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> the believe you're looking for is a white female who basically... Consequently, I think she's after her own child. ...did not have a child in their care when she visited, became her victims. Because all these families yeah, not recently not. had children in their homes, we believe our unsub is motivated by maternal desire. The maternal desire is the profound emotional need to mother a baby. The this may cause our unsub to do something drastic. Like commit a cesarean abduction or kidnap a random kid. Uh-oh. Get in the car, I'll shoot you right here. Okay. You're single, you made six figures last year. Decided to adopt a baby because everything in your life had worked out except for your broken ovaries. What do you want? Damn. Oh, you'll see. This will be over sooner than you think. Oh, well, it's okay. It's okay. Everything's gonna be all right. Yeah. Drive, Karen. Okay, she lost a child. 
So check the think... employees working with the foster program. No indication of maternal desire or postpartum psychosis. I had stocks and I have money. I wanted to breastfeed him, but they took him away. Ooh. You know what happens when a mommy can't get rid of her nails? Pain is excruciating. They give you this pill that dries you up. It's the most unnatural thing in the whole world, little Johnny. His name is Ben. It's Johnny. You or do you think this is your son? This is either you your son, you lost your son, you think it's your son, or you want it to be your son, or a combination of something. Oh my. Penny G has checked all local mental institutions, and there are no women that fit that description that have been released in the last two weeks. Another one has been shot. Three blocks from here. She's a fairly limited comfort zone. I mean, work the list. I'll take Ross and Prince with me. Said you couldn't go out dinner. I thought I would bring dinner to you. Oh God! You never bring me dinner. Vegan pad thai, your favorite. You had to go all the way to Adams Morgan to get me that. I thought I would just do something special. And you're sweating. I don't have time for this. Okay, I need to. <laughs> okay, I'll just stand in the back. No, no, I can't concentrate if you're here. Well, okay. Um, I'll put the food in the fridge, but maybe you have time to take a nibble on this. This is a red velvet cupcake, and you only give them to me on special occasions. <laughs> we'll talk later. <laughs> Can she talk? No. Pressure's falling. Check the car, I'll go with her. She was shot? That was different. I'm shocked that she didn't. No headshot. She also didn't kill her. Maybe she panicked and ran off. Oh, or she intentionally spared her because she had what she wanted, a kid. Okay, but why leave the victim so close to the police station? Well, she might not have known. She's erratic and probably on schedule. So her desperation outweighed rationale. <laughs> this is mild. Supposed to happen for another six months. <laughs> Got out? Or what? This? It's, it's Johnny, honey. Our Johnny. Yeah. We're gonna be a family, honey. He looks really young. Where are we going? We can just go upstairs. My mom will be home for an hour. Yeah, I'm getting out of town, Tommy. What? What are you talking about? What about my mom? Your mom is the reason that we're in this position in the first place. She sent me to jail, Tommy, remember? She's sick. Remember what she said about me on the television? She said I was a predator. Am I an animal, Tommy? No. No. Come on, baby. Not that. What the hell? Who's Julie? What? Are you doing her? What? What's that for? No one is going to come between us again, Tommy. Did you get anything from Karen? She's in surgery Dude, for two more hours. I've ago. been writing all this the down. Unsub and Karen that just changed two blocks from everything. Where she Witnesses said that a woman with blonde hair, early 40s, was waiting on a bench for an hour around the same time Karen took her kid there. We're working up a composite now. I think it's probably fostered by all of our victims. Do we know the birth parents' names? Sealed with the state. Time to unseal it. Yeah. Julie, what are you doing here? I was doing lunch today. Yeah, I had band practice. Well, you know, I was thinking about taking up the flute. Oh, I had cool. Band practice. Listen, maybe we can talk about this later. Well, listen, um, everyone's going to the stands in a few minutes. Which weeks, means you're a and minor. I was thinking Which maybe means. I... Look, I know you haven't dated anyone since the whole Miss Holman thing. Miss Holm, it's your I teacher. I'm not as old as her or experienced, but. I thought you were in jail. Let me give you a little lesson on the prison system, sweetie. It's overcrowded, so high mouth. No, we're not supposed to be here. You raped him. Julie! Do you think what we did was rape? We made love. Hello, Tommy. <sighs> it's true, Julie. This is my girl. 
Your mom has a restraining order against her. Lesson number two, Julie, restraining orders can be broken. No. <sighs> Not unless you... Take the baby to the car. Okay. <laughs> Tommy, take the baby to the car! I'm calling the police. Put the phone down. 16. So what? <laughs> Final lesson, Julie. Do not mess with the teacher. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? Okay, here's the deal you want to stay with. Okay, formerly known as Johnny, Whoa. was born to Margaret Holmes. Where is she now? When we were high school students two years ago. His name is Thomas Brown, a.k.a. Tommy Brown, and he is little Johnny's baby daddy. Like, for real. Teacher love syndrome. She gave birth to Tommy's baby in jail, and then when Tommy's mom refused to raise it, the baby was put in foster care. Okay, so we are unbelievable. The baby did spend time in each of the victim's homes. Oh, you betcha. That would explain the spree and the maternal desire. She's trying to put her family back together. Hey, she can't die. What if I died, Tommy? Do you know what they did to me in jail? I met you, people have been trying Understands that you and I were meant for each other. The time and age have no meaning. That you are the love of my life. But if I'm not yours, then get out. What? <laughs> oh, this get is out. disgusting. Probably, yeah. Good God. Whose house is this? It's ours! Wow. <laughs> wow. This is awesome. You should see the inside. It's beautiful. Miss Holman had an exemplary record in jail. What was her correspondence like with the outside world? Uh, well, she had limited <laughs> computer use, and she used all of that time searching for a... Johnny Lewis forced school. His parents charged her with molestation and then they dropped the charges. When was this? Three years prior to meeting Tommy. So she has a baby with Tommy and names it after the first kid she assaulted. Yeah, and according to the prison's hard drive, she wrote dozens of emails to this Johnny Lewis. Oh my god. Their phone is disconnected. What about an address? They've moved around a lot. Oh wow, okay, it's like they're off the grid. Well, who lives in their old house now? Maybe they can help us get info. <gasps> They're probably uh, dead. Changed hands a lot. That's oh, probably the house. Pop goes with Lady Weasel. You'll never guess who bought it. Miss Holman. Mm -hmm. oh. It was picked up by her sister a year ago, and then it was transferred to Maggie's name yesterday. I wonder when we'll be back together again. Winter, summer, or fall. The metal bars that separate us are just temporary, Maggie. Instead of keeping us apart, they made us closer. To try to hurt you while you're in there. Why don't you tell me about that in your letters? Well, I didn't want to scare you. I would have done something. Well, there's nothing you could have done. All that's important is that we're here now. Please. Did you call them? Why would I do that? Yeah, then. then prove it. What do you want me to do? Protect your family, honey. Miss me. 
You don't want to do this. You don't know me. My, my girl and kid are in there. She's a predator, Tommy. No, she's not an animal. We love each other. No, no, Tommy, this isn't love. This is a woman who's been taking advantage of you. She molested you. Tommy, she wrote it to another boy. His name was Johnny Lewis, and he lived in this exact house. I never thought I'd put on fancy makeup just to see you smile. What are they talking about? She named your kid after him. Is that true? That's so fucked. I wasn't the only one. Oh, this is just so <laughs> disgusting. I thought you were my baby. Without you, I would go numb, and that's why nothing's gonna keep us apart. And I mean nothing. male teacher and a female student. You've gotten 20 years and none of this would have happened. Well, she could get life plus 20 for all those murders she committed. You know, it's primal. There's a hierarchy to everything, including sex offenders. Okay, well, he's ready what? to get breakfast. Uh, I can't. There's something I gotta take care of. Well, see, I have the same process. Death penalty. Hey. I don't care if you're pretty. I'm sorry. I don't I care you if you're That's man. totally okay. Oh, yeah. Low-grade ESP, so I... Can pretty much figure out what's going on. It, Garrick, I hacked into his computer. Penelope. He's looking at rings. You know, the last time I checked, Kevin is a pretty great guy. I knew it. I knew it. Baby, this is a good thing, isn't it? If you, it is, but not to me. What? What happened to your standing Tuesday night date thing? That has nothing to do with this. It, Somebody goes away and you're left empty, and I, and I don't want that. Okay, I, don't, yeah, 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 I don't want to be empty. Baby, I really don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, that's what always happens. And, and then why are you in a relationship? I don't want any part of that. I don't want any part of that at all. <clears throat> What's wrong, Palm Sauce? <laughs> you know, I'm gonna let you guys do um, what you guys do. Kevin, I, I like the way that things are now. I love how you have your space and I have my space and and when we come together we're, we're our own weird world unto ourselves and I don't want to ruin that. That's not what this would do. Yeah, it would. Whoa, whoa! You should have made that clear. Penelope, are you uh, are you against marriage? Or? I'm just not ready. Uh, well, I am. Oh, man. Yikes. Yikes. Um, well, yikes. If it's one thing to not be ready, okay. How long have they been together? I don't know. So many questions. Like, it's it's one thing to not be ready to get married. It's another thing to not want to get married. Um, if you don't want to be with that person, you probably shouldn't be together. At least that's how I think of it. Um, I understand, you know, everyone has their own kind of style of relationship, but, like, you don't want it long term. If you don't want to put a ring on the finger, then you probably shouldn't be in it. They'll figure their thing out <laughs> and whatnot. That was weird as hell. Um, I, I literally was writing up all this sentencing stuff and I was like, oh boy, yay. We can, we can do a pretty solid sentencing here. And then I found out 
that, and that gets the death penalty. So, we um, won't be uh, sentencing this one today, other than that. But yeah, that was, that was very disturbing. And it is very alarming that if the roles were re reversed, you know, if, if it was a man and a female student, um, that dude, as far as real life, would... He, he gets the book thrown at him. Um, and then the female and male student doesn't get anything. Um, which is just alarming, but whatever. Um, well, not whatever, like, fix it. Um, because that's not okay, but, uh, yeah. Anywho, like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. We are inching closer and closer to the end of season seven, which is absolutely insane. Seven seasons of Criminal Minds already over? What? It's exciting. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already, and I will see y'all next time.